28 Creative Shelving Ideas Shelving doesn't have to be boring or tedious. It can be a fun and enjoyable pastime. Your home decor gets interesting while you create lucrative storage spaces in your home for all kinds of stuff. Number 1. Reclaimed Wood Floating Shelves Measure and cut wood pickets. You need four boards for top and bottom each, and 12 boards for the sides if you wish to make six shelves. Cut the end using a miter saw at a 45 degree angle. Glue nailed pieces together to form a rectangular tube. Drill a pilot hole through the boards before screwing on the wall and ensure they're level. Number 2. Nursery Room Bookshelves Cut the 1x10s in half. Use the pre-drilled screw holes in the back to fix a couple of 1x4s to each other. Apply glue to the front of the 1x4 and clamp either end of the 1x2 to the 1x4 to hold the boards in place. And then nail the pieces together. Paint them and your nursery bookshelves are complete and ready to be installed. Number 3. Easy DIY Floating Shelves First, build the frame. The back of the frame that is attached to your wall should be 2 by 3 cut at 32 inches. Each shelf has three brackets that are each 7.75 inches long. Attach the brackets using 2.5 inch pocket hole screws. Use Gorilla Wood glue on each one to make it extra sturdy. You can use pine wood or white wood, whichever is available. If you want, you can get them distressed as well. Number 4. Chalkboard Cubby Carefully measure and transfer provided pattern to your 1x6 sides. Cut using a jigsaw and then sand edges until they are even and matching. Attach two sides together with the bottom as shown in the picture, either with a 1 and 1 quarter inch pocket hole screw or 2 inch finish nails, and wood glue from outsides. Apply the same technique with shelves. When you finish, use primer or wood conditioner. Number 5. Stacked End Table Shelf Roadkill Rescue you need to cut the end half with beadboard, add it into the back for some texture. Cut more beadboard to fit the back of each and cut the ends of the table to make it more stable. Next, sand the piece using wood glue to put some of the trim back in place. Begin with 60 grit sandpaper and work your way down to a 220 grit and then wipe it clean. Prime and paint it, then drill corner braces to the bottom. Position the bottom half of the table in place and screw the other end in the corner brace into the wall. Last, stack the other half of the end and repeat. Number 6. DIY Honeycomb Hexagon Shelves Miter cut four 10-foot long white wood 1x4s to 30 degrees and saw hexagons. Make 60 pieces with 6-inch sides if you want 10 hexagons. Pre-drill holes, glue and then nail sides together. Wood glue along edges, clamp together, nail and then stain them. Screw them to form a honeycomb pattern using two L brackets per shelf and anchor screws. Number 7. DIY Industrial Pipe Shelving Unit Step 1. Ensure the pipes are clean. Use oil-rubbed bronze to spray paint the plumbing pieces. Drill tiny holes in the center of every penciled circle. Lightly sand and clean around them. Stain and seal every side of the shelf. Apply 5 coats of polyurethane to the top side. Once that side is dry, flip and repeat by brushing 2 coats to the bottom side, drying between each one. Start the assembly and finish by screwing the flanges into place. Lastly, you can decorate as you wish. Number 8. Industrial Shelves First, put the bottom row of pipes together and line them up where you want to position them on the floor. Keep them straight via tape and ensure the distance apart is the same. Screw flanges to the floor. Use a 1 and 1 quarter inch drill bit to drill holes in the wood. Use a bigger pipe on top than the rest of them. Stain with Minwax Provincial and Seal using Minwax's Wipe-On Poly in Satin. Number 9. Corner Shelf Mark exactly how to hang brackets. Prime the brackets with cold galvanized compound primer and paint with Orb Metallic Spray Paint and Satin, or leave them alone if the shiny steel look is your preference. Stain and top coat the cut to size shelves if you desire, or leave them unfinished. Next, take 2 inch screws to secure the brackets to the studs and 1 inch screws to hook up the shelves to the brackets. 
Number 10. DIY Spice Rack Variety is the spice of life, so why not create a spice rack? Use birch plywood for this task. Use a jigsaw to cut out the two matching pieces for the sides of the spice holder. Then use a wood glue and a nail gun to glue and nail the sides of the holder to the bottom piece. Create the shelves like stair steps by gluing and nailing on top of each other. Check that each board is at level and use wood filler for seams. After the shelf is checked, fill the seam with wood filler and lastly, sand and paint those shelves. Number 11. DIY Rope Shelf Drill holes in the boards for the rope to go through. Sand down the edges and around the holes and then paint the boards. Measure and recheck to make sure the length of the ropes would be stopping where you want to install the plant brackets. Cut the rope carefully into two final pieces, a length for each side, and last, put the rope shelf up using a level to do the final bit of adjusting. Number 12. DIY Window Shelf for Plants Make a plan where to attach the brackets to the window trim. Next, cut, sand rough edges and wipe clean. Brush on poly shades using a foam brush. Next, mark holes for the brackets and continue drilling a pilot hole. Screw brackets into the window trim or pilot hole and finally fasten the wood shelves to the brackets with screws. Number 13. Lowe's Leaning Shelf First, mark the length of the five shelves with one inch spaces between them that you can cut later on. One, one by 12. Stack the marked board on a second one by 12 and clamp them, not glue them, with the edges and ends flush. To make the cuts, you can choose a wide capacity miter saw, a right angle guide or circular saw. Sand with 120 grit sandpaper until the shelf edges, faces and ends are clean and smooth. Number 14. DIY Hanging Organizer Peg Hooks Don't forget to mark the center of every peg placement and choose a hole saw bit that's a little bigger than the pegs. Holes should be near the top end. Next, cut the holes using a pilot hole as a guide for the center drill. Just a bit. Continue to hang on pegs to ensure holes line up. Using wood glue, wood screws, and clamps, assemble your caddy and let it dry. Using wood glue and some clamps, attach the back piece to the center of the bottom of the back. Fill all seams and cracks using wood filler. Next, let dry, sand smooth, and wipe clean. Lastly, paint the entire wood caddy. Number 15. Do-it-yourself invisible shelf. Use a piece of Velcro on the bottom of your angle bracket. Mark the holes, drill in screws, and fasten a lower book cover to Velcro. Number 16. DIY wood shelf organizer. Attach two 180 cm long pieces of timber, each 23.5 cm wide, together. Shelves can be 9 cm. Pine is soft enough to attach the screws by hand, so you don't need any electrical tools. Just a saw, a measuring tape, some sanding paper, and a leveler. Number 17. DIY Ladder Shelf Stand on ladder, put a board between each stair, and work your way toward the top. Voila! The ladder shelf is ready for decoration. Number 18. Brilliant Shoe Shelves Miter the braces for shelves to go on and then sand them. Complete 18 of them and use the circular saw to continue cutting and sanding. Use 1 by 2 feet for braces and lay a shelf across them. Measure halfway up, get your handy pocket level, hold the braces tight and screw them in. Number 19. Hanging Pallet Shelves Measure wood to the height that you want to begin cutting. Nail 1x4s into place for the bottom and then sand them. Apply a clear coat of poly, sand edges, and stain them. Then hang on a stud from the wall. Number 20. DIY Modular Shelves Use boxes and arrange them in the combination you want. Stack them to get modular shelves. You can try out several configurations. Number 21. DIY Honeycomb Shelves Use a bunch of different old cabinet doors painted from different colors and an old warehouse. Set a miter saw to 30 degrees and start cutting hexagon sides. Keep doing that until you have 60 pieces, if you're doing 10 hexagons with 6 inch depths. Glue, nail, and clamp the sides together, but you definitely want to pre-drill holes before you start nailing. Screw them together as honeycombs. Isn't it fun? Number 22. A Comfortable Shelf for Your Kitten 
Sand and scuff an old tray, and then cut wallpaper for fitting inside, and securing to the bottom using decoupage. Using leftover fabric, sew an envelope pillow cover for an old pillow to use as a cushion. Drill a hole for attaching catnip stuffed toys on ribbon. Loop ribbon toys through an eye screw and add a pillow. Number 23. Hanging Pattern Shelves Sketch designs. Linear and geometric are recommended for this project, although you can choose the patterns as per your preference. Tape out design on both sides of the board. Pay attention to the edges to ensure your design wraps around neatly. Peel last layer of paint to unleash your beautiful new shelf. Number 24. DIY Rustic Wall Storage Bins Create extra space in your home for handy storage bins on the walls that blend in with the surrounding decor as well. Distressing and staining is needed once you're done. Number 25. A bathroom wall storage bin from an old drawer. Combine two drawers into one solid piece. Next, drill some pilot holes and install all the hardware. Add trim around the edges for one nice finishing touch and apply a coat of poly. You can spray paint the original handles too. Number 26. A modern pegboard shelving system. Mark holes on the wooden panel with a pencil for drilling. Flip the panel over and lightly sand the front. Curl up some sandpaper and stick it in the holes to get rid of any jagged edges. Measure the depth of your shelves and add that to the thickness of your wooden panel. Cut the dowels with a saw or have them cut for you at the hardware store if necessary. Stick some dowels in and try different configurations and cut your boards accordingly. Number 27. Farmhouse style wire ball baskets from dollar store items. Spray paint the baskets and let them dry. Use a small amount of your craft paints and a paper towel or rub the paint onto the board in a random pattern. Repeat to create layers. Use sandpaper for distressing the paint job until you get your desired results. Turn the board around and add picture hooks on the back and position baskets and screw them in. You have magically created an attractive storage option that doubles as decor. And last, number 28, popsicle stick hexagon shelf. Add drops of glue to three popsicle stick ends and lay them down, and include three more as layers for your hexagon. Keep doing it till the hexagon is as deep as you want. Stain the sticks. You can alternate hexagons on each side on one row and create a second row above. Make sure the glue is dry before layering and staining. Ready to begin? Go right ahead! That's it. As always, like this video or comment on it, or share it with your friends before you leave. Lastly, press the subscribe button under this video if you've never seen our channel before. Thanks for watching!